So when we checked in last night, they said breakfast will be here until 10, and I go downstairs, and the breakfast had some dollar signs around it, so I thought it was gonna be free, and it wasn't free. Disappointed. But luckily, Google um, showed me a breakfast place that looks pretty good. I don't mind paying for that, because I'm sure the food will be a little better. So we're gonna put some shoes on, go out for an adventure, get some breakfast, get some shots around the city, and continue this journey in Greenville, South Carolina. Last night I didn't think I had a good view because there's the parking right there, but little did I know you got hills, mountain, greenery, and all that stuff to see from here. Coming up on the spot, Maple Street Biscuit Company. I think I see people standing outside, people eating outside. We got the fresh biscuit, the goat cheese medallion, the smoked bacon, and the crispy chicken. Of course, we got that maple syrup. So I'm back in South Carolina. I was born here back, what, 25 years ago. And um, first coming about, I had an accent, but now I don't at all. And I'm hearing everyone uh, talk with their kind of not too deep but very pronounced southern accent i'm like oh that sounds pretty cool i kind of wish i still had mine but i guess that's not the case but maybe if i move back here i'll pick it up but only if i say the word south carolina do i have an accent other than that everything else doesn't have an accent at all sad <laughs> so much since I've been a flight attendant but I've been seeing so much but uh, since Father's Day is coming up Father's Day got my dad some grits because he's a big grits person these are kind of the fancier grits and I tasted them they're really creamy and smooth so hopefully he'll like them because they weren't cheap and he gave me a little bit of pointers so for this DSLR camera that I never use he recommended me get a wide lens for that has autofocus that'll be better for uh, these selfie things that I'm using actually on my phone right now I want to transition to this DSLR even though this camera is pretty good but I'm gonna look out for those then my video game is gonna come up then I'll get some editing software finally but Greenville South Carolina I like the vibes out here. The 
first time that I brought a lunchbox, so I'm gonna have my first meal that I brought, kind of second meal. Tuna, spinach, peppers, onions, plastic, fork, and I'm gonna eat it out this freaking cup, and I'm gonna eat it cold because there's no microwave. It's time to leave Grand v Greenville. I'm gonna move over to Columbia, South Carolina, staying in my uh, Palmetto State, my state of birth. Won't be there too long, but you know, maybe I'll get some shots there. So I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. Time to go to sleep because I have to be up around 6 a.m. tomorrow for a 7 a.m. pickup. Don't really have time to do anything in this city that I'm kind of familiar with. So I'm just gonna get myself more familiar with the bed. So good night and then another day is another day tomorrow. Excited because we landed in New York early, so I have plans. I'm glad. We'll see if I can beat the rain. So I'm rushing. I'm rushing. I made it to the hotel. Now I'm out of the hotel. About to catch a lift to hop on the subway. Gonna meet my friend in the city, get some food because I'm hungry. Let's do the city life. Of course, I didn't beat the rain. <laughs> Luckily, I have my umbrella because I'm well prepared like the Boy Scout I used to be. Let's go. I think I heard Scar's Pizza is like really, really good. So I'll have to be back after I get what I came for. But uh, I'm still going. I'm getting distracted, but I'm still going. <laughs> Time to eat. You gonna do the unboxing? You know. Oh, 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 look at that. Hey. Look at that biscuit. Shoot, got the gravy you know, on it. Peel the yeah. top off. Peel the top off. Jesus. He's gonna enjoy that. Homie Mark. Hey. You know. All the homies. Love that here. She got the veggie sandwich. What's it look like? Show it to me. Give me that cross section. Wow. Add salmon. Breakfast sandwich. Egg, cheese, salmon on a biscuit. All right, I'm making it back because I need to try it because I heard it was good. Let's do it. Two slices Sicilian style. We okay with it? We ready. Nobody there it was so eerie. I was there with me and my friend. We're <laughs> the only people there. Aren't you? At the park, just chilling, seeing people. You know, someone's in the. Oh, he got his bike up in that gym. Gotta wash it. I <laughs> know, The man's at work. With the daily orange juice <laughs> daily for his orange Instagram. Orange juice, gotta get it. Wait, how'd that start? How'd it start? Yeah. Uh, I actually started off because of the tweet. Okay. I, I tweeted, it was like 2 in the morning, I really wanted orange juice. Yeah. And uh, so I do with all my thoughts at 2 a.m., I tweet him out because why not? All right. And I tweeted, I was like, can you post me some orange juice? Huh. And I still really wanted some, so the next day I went and bought some, and then I tweeted out, I got some orange juice. And I tweeted a picture. And then I kind of just kept tweeting pictures, and then like after three of them, I was like, "All right, this is gonna become my official daily orange juice." All right. Like, thread. That's dope, dude. So now I have like 200 photos of me drinking Jeez. orange juice, or somebody else drinking orange juice. The good thing is now I've done it long enough that other people do it for me. Yeah. So I don't have to drink it as often. So the vitamin C is flowing through the veins and the internet. Yeah. Once I get uh, once I get Tropic Canada, send me a care package. Dude. Like, yeah. And then I'm done. Let's make it happen. The flat iron, though. Hey. It's a classic. So super quick, we literally just ate food, walked around for a couple hours, but I reunited with a friend from college, haven't seen him in a little bit met with one of his friends so now I'm going back to the hotel because I have to be up around 5 a.m. tomorrow but I got a little taste of the city literally by the food and the air and just checking the sights out but um, on my last mode of transportation about to catch a bus back to the freaking hotel I've already been on two subways so far just gotta wait like 11 minutes and then I'll be in that bed
It's 5 something a.m. Look at my views. The city is super far out there. But all I care about is I'm really close to work. There's the airport. Hop and a skip away. Let's go. Check this out, y'all. The window. So, for views in the air, eh? That is so funny. 